dear students now we are going to discuss another problem in projection of planes in this problem they are given an hexagonal plate of side 20 mm and the side has been inclined 45 degree to vp then they are given a surface inclination as 30 degree always remember students on your double inclination problem on your plane problems first we have to draw your true shape then we are going to incline your surface inclination then only we are coming for your edge inclination over here your surface inclination being given on the problem it has 30 degree and your edge inclination is 45 degree so first you have been already familiar how to draw your title block and your xy line now first i am going to just click your polygon command since your hexagon your number of side is 6 so i have just entered a 6 and i am going to draw by your edge method so e enter i just made my first click okay your edge dimension is 20 so i have first i have drawn your hexagon so your hexagonal plate should be a thick line so i just changing your line thickness as 0.35 next i am going to mark your alphabets for each and every corners so first your alphabet will be your a close editor click your alphabet move it and place it near to your points okay now once again i am going to make a multiple copy of this so click your copy click your base point this is your b c d E E and your last will be your F just double click it change it into as B similarly over here it will be your C D E your last will be your F now i have to draw your projection lines so i'll be just moving your diagram so a bit below your xy line so it will be easy to view your construction lines and all now i have to draw your construction line so i just click your line from f point i'll be drawing a perpendicular line to your xy once again from your b point perpendicular line once again line so next by using your line command i'll be joining these two points and these two points so on your plane these are your visible points so i'll be just converting into a thick line as 0.35 next i'll be marking your alphabet for that i'll be just making a copy of this alphabet and i'll be placing it over here so this will be your a dash on your bracket f dash Okay. Now once again make a copy of this. So just double click it. This will be your B dash, E dash, C dash, and D dash. Next I have to incline your plane inclination thirty degree. So I just selected this. Make a copy. And I just placed it over here. So the surface angle is 30 degree. So I just selected it. Click rotate. This will be a base point and enter it as 30 degree. Now it has been rotated for 30 degree. Now I have to draw your construction lines once again. So from your line, using your line, I have just drawn your first construction line. First I will be completing your vertical lines. Then I will be coming for your horizontal lines. So. i have completed your vertical lines now now i'll be projecting your horizontal line first from your e point similarly from your f point similarly from your a point your last from your b point okay now just make a copy of your alphabet so this will be your A point here it will be your B, C, D, E, and F. Just double click it and change your alphabets. So it will be your B, C, D, E. Your last one will be your F. Just join it with your line.
and after joining your points i have to convert it to a thick line so i just selected these lines and increase my thickness as 0.35 okay so next i'll be making a copy of this your entire alphabet everything i just made a copy then i just selected it rotate as your base point 45 degree okay so i just selected it and rotated your base point clear so i'll be just zooming this window so it will be easy for us so once again i've just drawn a line so i have to just tilt this line as to rotate 45 degree so from this point it is going to rotate as 45 degree so i'll be just moving your points and i'll be placing it over here i have selected everything just click your move so i just placed it now i have to draw your projection lines so just click your line so this line should be perpendicular to your xy line first i'll be completing your vertical lines okay then i'll be coming for your horizontal lines so from each and every point we are going to draw a vertical line then i'll be drawing your horizontal lines since i have a very excess line i'll be just trimming it i'll be just trimming your excess line so your diagram will be bit clear so i just trimmed it now you can see i have to mark your alphabets before then only it will be easy for us so first i'll be just making a copy of your alphabet so first i will be marking your a dash point so see your a point is over here so i just moved it so a point is over here and it is over here so i'll be just placing your this is your a point okay so here be careful with your point students because it is very very important then i have my b point so i just make a copy so here your b and b is been intersecting at this point this is your b point b dash similarly my c point is over here and the c point is over here just make a copy of your b and rename it as c so here i have got my c point similarly d is over here and your d is over here so just make a copy double click it as and rename it as d okay then we have your e point over here and your f point is being over here so i'll be just making a copy this is your e point and this will be your f point so just change it this will be your e point and this will be your f point so after that just click your line from a to b point b to c point this is your d point e point 
f point and a point so at last just select this text your lines and change it into 0.35 okay now i completed your diagram students so now i have to go for my dimension so your command will be dim style click modify on your symbols and arrow size your arrow size should be 4 your text type your text type should be 5 your primary units it should be 0 0.00 then click ok and close click linear you can see then click angular and get me the angle so it is 30 degree over here and 30 degree over here similarly angular between these two angle it is 45 ok so with this I wind up your lecture for your projection of planes thank you